All right, gonna do a live stream for you guys this morning. Let me go uh, live on social media. <clears throat> Looks like Facebook and Twitter are online. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Gonna do a stream for a little bit. Wait for you guys to join. Uh, so currently, right now, <clears throat> I'm in two uh, credit spreads for both GLD and uh, the SPY. So I'm in two put credit spreads. So that means I'm bullish on them. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put an order in <coughs> to do with my credit spreads, guys. So you'll see, I kind of do like credit spreads. This is my own personal way of doing it. Uh, again, there's so many different ways to doing them, like credit or debit spreads. I kind of go out, not, I go more than a week, less than two weeks. And I kind of just sell the pops, you know, within a couple days. So, you know, I got in gold, GLD and SPY yesterday. So I'm going to watch them this morning. They're both moving up. Uh, so I kind of just sell the pops and then look for re-entries. Again, that's just my style. Um, I'm doing a small account right over here. So I'm just kind of buying either a credit or a debit spread and uh, trying to show you guys along the way. Again, don't copy my trades unless you know what the heck you're doing because I do lose on trades. Uh, I keep my losses small. So, you know, again, I also don't get greedy. So... <clears throat> let's say if I take a, you know, if I take in a hundred bucks on credit for a credit spread, I'm not waiting till expiration to collect all hundred dollars. You know, I might sell around 50% of profit or again, a day, it might kind of go up a little bit and then kind of trade sideways. Maybe I sell up 40%, maybe on other days when it runs, I might go to 60%, but I'm, I'm selling early. And then like for losses, you know, I'm keeping my losses very small. So if it kind of goes against me or it doesn't look so great, I'm just cutting the losses. So <clears throat> we do longer term debit and credit spreads. We have in our community right over here, real time alerts up here. So we do real time credit and debit spread alerts. So I may take trades on the stream here, but I'm not calling out en exits and entries and exits and I'm not streaming all of my trades, so I might get into something, and then my next stream the following day might not be morning, it might be in the afternoon. So if you want real-time alerts and ones that are a little bit more longer term, we have real-time alerts right up over here on our website at bullishbearers.com. All right, <clears throat> so right now what I'm gonna do, just to start the day, is I'm going to put an order in or a couple orders in, you'll see I ordered these, I got into these uh, spreads yesterday. So I'm just gonna put orders in to sell at 50% of profit, have them in the system, and then I'll kind of watch them as the market opens. So you'll see SPY, I got into this credit spread on SPY at $1.32. So you wanna, with a credit spread, you wanna sell high and buy low, right? So it's almost like shorting, but not shorting. You're selling at a higher amount, collecting a premium, and then you want to buy back lower. So what I'm going to do here is just do a dollar thirty-two divided by two. So I'm going to put an order in to buy it back at sixty-six uh, cents. So that would be if it hits uh, sixty sixty uh, or fifty percent of profit. Now I'll watch it at open if it kind of goes up and then you know let's say it gets to seventy-six and I'm up fifty bucks or whatever. I might take my $50 profit. I'm just putting the orders in the system because <clears throat> when I go for profit, there's a lot of volatility at open and you'll see spreads go nuts a lot at times. Uh, so uh, that's why I'm kind of putting those orders in now to lock in profits if I get profits. Again, then I'll readdress once the orders are in the system. What's up, Oxygen? How are you, bud? Um, so that's for SPY. So I'll go right over to here. And I'll right click and do a create closing order. So I'll buy it back at 66 cents. And then I'll change it to good to cancel, confirm and send. <clears throat> and you'll see I have an order in the system right up here to buy it back. So 
Right now it's at $1.30, so that's for SPY. I wanna see this mark status drop down, so I want it to fall um, my direction. So I want the market, um, put, um, uh, I bought a put credit spread, so I want the market to go up and I want this mark status to come down and trigger my sell order. So I'll watch this at open. It's just easier when I have the orders in the system. I'm not trying to chase. I'm not trying to be emotional. I can look at it, look at the charts, and then decide whether I'm going to stay in or get out. <clears throat> um, guys, do you like my new uh, shirt this morning? I'm wearing my Furu shirt. It's for if there's any trolls that like to say, all you, all you stock market traders are Furus. I bought the shirt to own it, right? So I'm a, I am your Furu for today. <laughs> so if you're a Furu stands for fake guru. So I don't think I'm a fake guru, but I'm just, I think it's funny. So I'll be a fake guru. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's look at GLD. I got in that one at 103. So 103 divided by 2. <clears throat> 51 cents. I'll just round up to 52. So I'll buy that one back at 52 cents. And so I'll put an order in GLD, buy it back at 52 cents. Good to cancel, confirm, and send. <clears throat> and there we go. So you'll see right up here, both of my orders are in the system. If I want to see these mark status again. So I, I have put credit spread, so I want the market to go up. So again, I know it sounds confusing. I sold, I took in a credit, so I want to buy it back lower. So I want both GLD and SPY to go up today. And then I want these mark statuses to fall down and trigger my sell orders. But again, I'll watch it and I'll look and I'll say like, you know, if 50%, I might get to 40% of profit at the pop in the morning and I might take it instead or it might reverse it might go a different way it might trade sideways um, <clears throat> if the market kind of turns or goes a different direction maybe I'll take a small loss you know what I mean so I'll just watch these that open once I have the orders in the system it's just easier to look up here rather than wait to the order you know market to open then worry then trying to chase and just get all emotional all right so Man, this light, I'm not used to having lights on behind me, and it's making me very parched, very dry in the morning here. So I do got my, I, oh, I chose my I Love QE water bottle this morning. So I got my stainless steel water bottle. It keeps my water cold. And these bullish bears, these, mo these water bottles work really well. So that's a plug for our, <laughs> our merchandise. Again, if you haven't been following us, we did launch our store on our website at bullishbears.com. <clears throat> you can click our store over here, and you'll see we have all of our merchandise. You'll see I'm wearing my buy high, sell low hat, which is right up over here. If you view our hat store, you'll see... What am I wearing today? Right up... Where is it? There it is. That's what I'm wearing today. If you're new, you want to buy low and sell high. So you can say, well, why are you wearing buy high, sell low? Just being funny. <laughs> All right. So <clears throat> let's take a look. What else do we want to look at? I had, so I'm looking at G. So with SPY, just to show you, with SPY, I have a put credit spread with my anchor at. Three twenty-five, so that means I want price to stay above. Where's three twenty-five? Right down here. Let me move this one. It's right here, <clears throat> right around here. So basically, I want price to stay above that three twenty-five area before my expiration at, where am I? September 25th. I'm not gonna keep it to September 5th. I usually sell these within a couple days or so. So when I'm up, up like, you know, if I collect a, a, you know, if I collect $100, let's say in premium, 
I'm selling between you know a forty or sixty dollar profit. So guys, this is just with growing with growing a smaller account. You know what I mean? So like if you're making fifty to a hundred dollars a day, and you have let's say you know a three to five thousand dollar account, um, you know fifty to a hundred dollars a day is a great way to grow, grow an account, right? You know when you look at if there's twenty trading days in a month, right? Twenty times fifty. That's a thousand dollars a month. You can grow your account, you know. So don't get caught up in all like the huge money that people make and traders make. Um, you know, look at the small little wins, and you can do that with credit and debit spreads and trade larger cap stocks. <clears throat> I do have other accounts up here that have more money in it. Uh, I actually might look at, depending on how today goes, maybe I'll look to day trade spy shares. Let me take a look at buy high, sell low hoodie. Yes, there is right up over. <clears throat> right here. The black ones are oversized, so if you order one, order typically a size down than your normal size. And then the gray and the other different color ones are regular size right over here. All right, so four hours a bit bullish. So four hour on the SPY has an inverse head and shoulders. You can see some resistance between that 347 to 346. So you have an inverse head and shoulders on the hour and the four hour. So that is a bullish sign. And then right here on the 30 has another inverse head and shoulders. It's a bit overextended on the five minute at the moment, so <clears throat> I might show you guys if uh, there's a decent setup, I might look to day trade it. Or stay in it for a little bit longer, depending what how the setup is. Sorry, I'm just getting used to myself on all these different screens right now, so I'm moving, <laughs> moving myself over So I'm just watching this, guys. I might, you know, if we get a nice pullback. I want to see if price can break that 342. Let's see here. 46 area right up in 342.50, basically, that half dollar amount. I think there might be a gap over there as well. Let me see. Is that a gap? Yeah, it looks like there's a gap right there on 343.60. So watch and see if that gap will fill. So 
You'll see in a five minute, it's a bit overextended here on the market. I'd like to see it pull back or have that 90 MA catch up. So we'll just watch it. Again, if there's a setup, I may look to trade, took a trade on, take a trade on it. Sorry guys, I have the weed whacker person outside, landscaper. So if you hear the landscaper, that's what the noise is. All right, got another minute or so to open. So I got my two sell orders in. I'll take a look at those. I got my charts up, watching those for open. There we go. Shake Shack was on the watch list. Not a lot of uh, volume right now. But that's kind of looking, you'll see right here, we had looking for Shake Shack to see if it can break out of that, kind of that falling wedge-ish on right up over in here. You can see some resistance. Right around that 69.13 or right around that 69.24 area, right in there. <clears throat> so this one's moving up, needs some volume. But well, watch to see if it can break out of that, kind of that 6920-ish area. All right, market's pulling back some. Gold is touching the 9 EMA in a five minute. Take a look, I'll show you guys a spread, see how we're doing over there right now. Up a little bit right here, up 25, 24, 25 bucks. So I'll keep an eye on these, as you guys will see, the mark starting to move down, right? So I'm gonna watch these and see. So something like this, you know, if the market kind of sells off or doesn't look real good or whatever, this is where I might consider, like I said, I got in these, I'm looking, you know, to do these pops, you know. So sometimes, I'm not I'm not going to do it right now, but sometimes I might just take the 20 or $25 profit and not wait. You know what I mean? Depending on what the market's doing. Right now it's bouncing and gold is bouncing right now, GLD. So I'll stay in those for now. <clears throat> I'm going to just let the five minute candle form on this one. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan. I'm typically not a day trader, guys. I'll get in on like something like SPY or I'll stay in it for a little bit. But if the setup's decent or it's bullish and it has some room to run, if there's a, a setup I like, then I'll potentially get in and show you guys. Uh, again, I'm not typically a day trader. So you can see some resistance right up here on that 342.43 or 342.50-ish area. But what intrigues me also is that little gap up over in here. Oh, starting to move up. I 
I like to wait for pullbacks. I don't like to buy way out here when it's overextended. So stuff like this, I like these bull flags. These kind of moves up and pullbacks. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of dealing with this at the market open. Uh, Shake Shack's moving up, but still no volume. So you guys will see Shake Shack from the watch list is moving up. Still not much volume, though. Looking at GLD. Uh, see? All right, GLD is getting a little bit of a bounce. So I'm looking for a pullback down here, guys. I don't like buying tops of candlesticks, especially at market open like that. So I want to see it kind of touch, maybe see if there's a flag. See, it's a bit overextended on a five minute. This thing could go and rip and break out. I personally, I like little pullbacks. I like to see a kind of a flag before I decide to enter. see the spreads are still slowly moving up I'm keeping a close eye on them right now I want to see that that 9 EMA hold so I'm watching the 9 EMA on both the five minute charts So you'll see it's a bit overextended right now on SPY in a five minute. Well, that's right, I'm looking at the wrong chart. I was looking at a one minute at SPY. It's a, yeah, it's actually more overextended on a five minute. 15 as well, so looking for a pullback. Let's take a look at some of these other ones. CCL, Carnival, Cruise Lines. Ah, this one may be interesting. Carnival. This one might be having kind of a flag set up over here. I kind of like this setup right in here. So I'm watching this one minute for a possible setup. So you'll see on a five minute, <coughs> it's coming back down. It's touching off that nine EMA. It's bouncing up. Let's see if we can break that high a day around that 342.25. Kind of has almost like a head and shoulders-ish pattern. I like more clear flags and those moving average lines to separate.
Man, Shake, Sa Shake Shack is still really moving up, but they're still very light on volume. All right, this five-minute next candle is looking to potentially form, or it's looking to form. Right at that 342 level. Another 10 seconds to that candle. That's what I didn't want to play around with right here. That's just not my style. It's right around that 342. I was considering getting in, and then it, like, I just don't like those. It's a little bit too overextended for me, but that's what I was looking right above that 342 level, but I didn't take an entry on it. <clears throat> Let me take a look at GLD. Um... I may decide to get out on that. Let me just take a look at that. All right, so GLD smacked right at resistance, angular resistance. It's pulling back. Let me see where I'm at on that one. I may decide to just take a little bit of profit on that one. I don't know. Let me. I'm watching this five minute right there on VWAP, <clears throat> so you'll see it hit resistance, and it's pulling back right to that VWAP area. Let's see on a one minute. See, I'm watching this right now. I don't, it could get above that 9 EMA. It's right around some support, right around that 183.90. I'm going to watch this one pretty close. Uh, it's getting a little bit of a bounce right now. Oh, I might cancel it on. I canceled it. I'm seeing the bounce right now on the five minute. I didn't like it for a moment, but I'm going to watch, let this five minute candle. <clears throat> I'm going to let the five minute candle form on this one for GLD. Oh, it's getting the bounce. Spy is getting the bounce as well. All right, I'm holding. Uh, what was that on GLD? So I got in at GLD at 103. By two. So I put my order back in at 52, because now it's getting GLDs getting a bounce. Markets point still kind of trading sideways.
So you can see kind of this, uh, what do you call this, uh, falling wedge or kind of a flag pattern. I want to see it break out right above there. I want to see it continue up. So it's right at that resistance level. And it's bouncing right off there on a 9, and then off the 9 EMA and the 13. So I'd like to see that. I want to see it close up and then break out right above here. That's why I want to see it run. So I've got to watch that potential reversal. Smacking resistance. How's everybody doing today? What are you guys watching? You guys trading? So you'll see right here, price is at resistance. It's smacking right around that angular resistance level on a one minute. So being bullish on GLD, you can see moving average lines are pinching. I want to see them cross like this, catch up and push price out of that angular resistance and get above right above that kind of 184.25 level and push up. <clears throat> Go back to SPY. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate it. Who am I chatting with? What's up? Facebook. I can't see Facebook users' names, so who am I chatting with? So you got kind of a head and shoulders ish here on a one minute. I want to see that 90 MIA kind of catch up right on that 342 level. There we go, GLD's moving up now. Same with the market. Gotta watch that head and shoulders-ish pattern. <clears throat> Love it. Uh, right now, Blackstar, I am in a put credit spread for both GLD and SPY. So I'm bullish on both of these. I was, I was looking for a potential entry. This is just not my, I'm not typically a day trader or I wait for like really good, like I like clean kind of flag pullbacks. I don't like playing around at the open with this stuff. Um, but if I see an opening that I like, this would have been a decent one, but I didn't take it. Um, I'm just not a fan of this kind of stuff right here, like the bigger candlesticks. I like kind of those kind of cleaner bull flags. <clears throat> but you'll see right over here, I'm currently in two put credit spreads on GLD and SPY. So that means I'm bullish on them both. You're up on Ben uh, on PFGC. Let me see. So you'll see SPY just smacked resistance. Here we go. GLD's moving up. Come on, gold. I actually might move this one to another 15 cents up. 67. Market just smacked resistance at 340.250 and pulling back. Um, I 
Black Star, I'm not the best with that pattern, to be honest. I'm not the... I'm really... Uh, I'm kind of... I kind of keep it simple. I'm like your... <coughs> I'm like your uh, bull flag, bear flag, ascending triangle kind of guy. So that's why I look for, like, those flags. That's where this morning I didn't like the... Uh, so this is what I was saying, guys, right here. I want a clean kind of flag that I can get into. I want to see a hold off the 9 EMA and then a nice bull flag. I'm not a fan of just like right here. If I had taken it right here, it's like one right up. If you don't take, you know, I just don't like to get in and out just super quick that way. But that's day trading, right? I mean, that's very common. You know, if you trade this, the bolt, you know, the breakout sell at the top of a flagpole. I just like it a little bit cleaner. All right, market's selling off a bit right now to that 341.50-ish level. Good spy. Market's going right down to VWAP. I'm going to take a look at this one on a 5. Or right here. It's right near support at VWAP. Might be starting to roll over. Let's take a look at the... Smacked up resistance. Do I like uh, Ichimoku Cloud? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, Ichimoku is good. I just don't use it much anymore. I'm just kind of basically more just price action, moving average lines. Moving average lines I just use as a guide. Yeah, it's touching back down right around that 200 SMA. You're new here. Thanks for going live. You're welcome. Uh, 45. I don't know if I have 40. Do I have 45 minutes? I don't think I have 45 minute time frame. I just have my 30 hourly, four hour. Man, Shake Shack's moving up. Oh, dang. I should have taken a trade on uh, Shake Shack from the watch list. is really ripping up, huh? So that one went up. We had Shake Shack alert at, uh, at or above 67.71. Freaking thing ripped up to 71 bucks. My goodness. So now, look at that. Totally missed that setup, huh? <laughs> uh, gotta love it. <clears throat> that was the setup I liked, too. And I wasn't paying attention because there was not much volume. 
Yeah, you don't even see much in open interest. Let's look around the... Yeah, not much. Maybe people are just trading shares of it. All right, so market and app, market and GLD getting a bounce. Ooh, spy in a five minute looks pretty decent. There we go. <laughs> it's going to go back up. <laughs> That's it. We can channel bullish. We got bullish here. Come on, bullish. Um, let's, yeah, Tesla. So Tesla's got some resistance right around that 185 and then like 400 bucks. So it filled that gap. It filled that kind of daily gap right over in here. And now it's got that $400. Kind of has a... Kind of a falling wedge pattern. Now you want to see if it can break out and get above... What's the... Let's see... Yeah, right around that 385 level. So it needs to clear that 385, and then you have some resistance right around 387, 388, or 288, or 388, yeah, 390, and then obviously 400. <clears throat> All right, GLD is moving up. Market is still being wonky. So I'm looking for these marks to fall down here. Again, I'm going to watch. If I get up near 50 bucks on one of them or near it or maybe I'm 47, 48 bucks, I'll probably I might take profit. I'll watch and see. GLD is looking pretty bullish at the moment. The market kind of trading sideways. Although, might be doing an inverse head and shoulders at the moment. It's kind of an inverse head and shoulders on a one minute and then a head and shoulders on a five.
Hmm. What am I doing? Why is this? Wait, did I put the wrong one in? Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that's what I want to... Let's see. What did I get in on Spy at? Hold on, guys. I'm just looking at something real quick. I'm just adjusting, just looking at price action. Uh, market's trading sideways, but it, it might be moving up right now on a five minute. I'm looking to see if it's kind of got a like a wedge or <coughs> kind of an inverse head and shoulders on a one minute. But kind of has a head and shoulders at the same time. So I'm just kind of watching both of them. GLD is moving up. Yeah, GLD is doing pretty decent. So GLD, we can see some Oh, it's getting out of that resistance right around that 184.50. See some resistance right around that 187. Let's look at the hourly. That's oh, right at a resistance right here at that 184.50. I don't know if I'm going to... Oh, market's moving up. So I want to see that 342.50 break on this, in the market. And... Uh, GLD is at that 184.50. Let's see if it can break both those half dollar amounts. I'm watching CCL Carnival for a possible bounce.
All right, market's moving up. Gold's moving up. GLD, let's go, go, go. Right at those half dollar amounts. On IDEX, let me take a look. Eesh. See, I'm not a fan of these type of candlesticks. I don't trade stuff that like, it's got that algo, those algo candles. I, I mean, I personally don't like it. I don't trade anything like that. It could move up. I mean, it's, I just, I don't like those kind of those flattened kind of candles like that. Man, the market's playing games today. Trading sideways. Gold's still moving up. Come on, GLD. Let me pull up Spy again. So you see spies hitting resistance right around that 342.50 level. Man, oh man, I should have just traded Shake Shack from our watch list, guys. Look at this. Anybody trade this from our watch list today? Kicking myself that I didn't get in on that one. That one we had at... Uh, At or above 67 bucks, it's at 72, $5 move. <laughs> uh, come on, Spy. <clears throat> All right, Spy and GLD still moving up. So it looks like I didn't like our watch list, but all of them triggered today. You'll see we had FSM was at or above 708. And you'll see that one got up to 759. So I had a decent move up today and had some volume. So that one is up about 50 cents from our alert that we called out. Uh, 
EKX at or above 417. That one's currently at 434, but it went up to 440. That one actually had a nice run up. That one had a nice one up too. Oh, pretty two pretty decent ones. Let's look at BTG. At or above 667, that's at 677. Looks like Spy's pulling back to some support right now. Right at the angular support level, right here. Right below that 342 ish level. So it might be kind of double topping or head and shoulders. This one's definitely showing some weakness at the moment. But let's watch that 13 EMA, that green line, see if it gets a bounce. Still intrigued watching CCL. See if this one for Carnival. I want to see if this thing will reverse and move up. So I'd like to see a nice bullish hold off the five minute, right up to VWAP. See if it forms kind of a double bottom here. Man, guys, this spy is really trading sideways today. Not enjoyable. GLD is kind of selling off at the moment. Why did that not go? That's weird. There we go. All right, so I got out on GLD. on spy so I just took a little bit of profit I took I didn't stay in on GLD because it's it's bouncing off VWAP I'm just not liking this or the market really at this point so I'm going to give the market another few more minutes and decide on that one 
It's trading sideways. It's got this big kind of inverse head and shoulders, so I may stick in on that one. But yeah, GLD is getting a little bounce right now. Market's moving up. Uh, let me go to CCL now. This is what I'm, I'm intrigued by CCL on this one. I may. Take a day trade on it if these moving average lines can cross and I can get a flag. The price can get ideally above that 1850 level. PFGC just triple topped. CCL right at resistance, right at that 1840s dropped. GLD. So SPY is going back up towards that high day, right around that 342.53. Got another two minutes or so left on this five minute candle. There we go, come on SPY. I may have sold too soon on GLD. It's potentially forming a reversal or hammer off that VWAP. So if it can't break that 342.53, it might form a double top. It needs a Clear that 53-ish level. Nobody ever got hurt taking a profit. That's right.
Speaking of which, I just took profit on a little bit on Spy. I'm just not liking either of them, Spy and GLD at the moment. So, uh, so I got them both of these yesterday. Again, kind of eh. Markets trading sideways. GLD, kind of eh. So, again, guys, you know what I mean? This is a small account, right? This account right here is a small account. It's got like 30 something $100 in it. But, uh, you know, I mean, if you make, again, 50 bucks a day times 20 days, just on average, that could be $1,000 a month. Just growing a small account. Just showing you guys, again, this is credit spreads. These two are just credit spreads, right? So... You know, you can trade major major companies, right? So I, I didn't like our watch list. I was kind of eh with stuff. I want to see the market move up again, ab above resistance. It's not really doing it. Um, so it's smacking around at resistance, kind of trading sideways. So I kind of look at this stuff and I'm just like, well, if I'm up 25 to 30 bucks, if the market just you know, fails angular resistance at any moment and GLD, I could be up 25, 30 bucks and then I could be down five or 10 and just give it all back at this point. Like I said, I mean, they could still run or keep going up, but I'll just kind of readdress and uh, I'd rather take small wins, right? That can add up rather than uh, taking losses. Does that make sense to you guys? See, so, yeah, that's the thing. It's very easy to take, uh, you know, again, when you get kind of frustrated with the market lately or the setups really aren't that good. Um, you know, it's very easy to, uh, you know, it's just you could look at it and be like, oh, I'm up 50 bucks on a day. Big deal. I'd rather be up 50 bucks than down 50 bucks. Right. It could just change your whole mindset. So. Again, you'll see market again, just hit resistance again, kind of triple topping or double top, whatever you want to call that, smacking down. Same kind of thing with GLD. So you started five, four years ago with 500 bucks, average $35 a day on an $11,000 on an eleven thousand dollar account. So you started with 500, you're uh, up to $11,000. I mean, that's fantastic, you know? So we try to we try to keep things realistic for you guys, you know. Again, um, you know, I mean. So let's say like, you know, a day trading or whatever, right? If you're scalping ten, so you see a lot of again the gurus and the big names in the industry, and you'll see whatever thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, thirty thousand dollar days. So here you go. See markets selling off right now. Same thing with GLD. <clears throat> but you got to remember, so like, you know, if I'm day trading and I'm looking to scalp, uh, everything's really pulling back now. I want to, hold on, I want to take a look at Shake Shack. Give me a second. Shake Shack's pulling back now. Um, uh, so, I mean, if you're trying to day trade, like, uh, and make, say, 10 cents, right? If you bought, you know, just say you're trading a, a, a small cap stock, like a $3, whatever, $3, 4 $5 stock. 
If you bought a thousand shares and you made a 10 cents, oops, times 10 cents, <clears throat> you made a hundred bucks, right? So if you have, whatever, let's say you have a $5,000 account and you made a day trade, again, you could only make three in a five calendar day period, but let's say you made 10 cents and you bought a thousand shares, right? So you made a hundred bucks. If I have a $100,000 brokerage account and I bought 10,000 shares of that same stock you got and I got the same 10 cents, I made $1,000, you made $100. So I made 10 times the amount of money as you, right? But you gotta remember something, we made the same exact trade. That's why you don't wanna get caught up in the illusion of just because you know a guru's making a thousand or ten thousand or whatever dollars a day, you could make the same trade as them, but make ten times less. Just they're only making more because they're they have a bigger account to use as leverage, but you're still making the same trade. So it doesn't mean necessarily they're more successful in the trade as you. They just put more money up, right? So you know those trades that I just showed you here today. Those are just one contract, you know, one spread, one credit spread on each, you know? So I made whatever, 50 bucks between the two of them. Just say it was 25 bucks. If you had five, you know, contracts, you would have made 250. You would have made the same trade, you would have made more money. But when you lose, you'd also lose more money. So it's just the kind of the risk reward. What is your risk reward? Um, what are you comfortable with, right? And then, uh, you know, with trading a small account, you know, it's very easy. A lot of people, when they're new, they get caught up in the illusion or the sexiness of, oh, let me go and do penny stocks. You know, penny stocks are great. Uh, however, they're very volatile. You know, let's go and see what's running over there today. Let's see. But they're very volatile. And then the lower the float, so it's high risk, high reward, right? Low float. Um, Oh, actually, yeah, not many are running on my scan right now. Um, so what am I trying to say? Um, penny stocks are great, but you have the PDT rule. Um, and you have to be in and out of the trade within seconds, sometimes a minute, if you're lucky. Maybe a little bit more if you're really lucky. Um, but just showing you alternatives. We have a penny stock room. Andy runs that each morning for us each day. Uh, so if you want to learn penny stocks, we have a penny stocks room. I'm just showing you guys spreads. I'm showing you them within, you know, kind of a two-week period. Tim does them and calls out trades for longer periods. So if you want more time, like, again, I, I, I'm making my decisions a little quicker because those are only two weeks out on those spreads. You know, if I had them out for 30 to 60 days, I'd probably stay in them longer. Again, I'm just kind of just, I like to, I get bored easily. So I'm like... I'm not a day trader, but I'm not really a swing trader either. Um, so I need something that kind of holds my attention a little bit. So that's why I kind of like those spreads between eight to 16 days out. And just, uh, you know, for like, if I'm if I'm trading in my small account, I'm looking for those 50 to $100 days. You know, I was looking to see, like I said this morning, I was gonna show you guys a day trade on potentially Spy or Carnival, but I didn't like the setup. On that, I would have gone in on my bigger account and maybe, depending on what I was buying, maybe a couple hundred shares of Spy or if it was Carnival, maybe a thousand shares. Um, but I just didn't like the setup. And as you guys can see, it was good that I sold because if you look at Spy, what is Spy doing now? Spy is breaking angular support that I had it at. So... I sold, it's breaking angular support. And, you know, instead of being up 25 bucks, I might be down five or it might be up five or down 10 right now, right? As it's falling. So I sold in good time. It hit resistance and ended up failing. Um, could it still go up? Sure. But again, I just took a little bit of profits, got out. GLD, same thing. It is a uh, hit resistance. Now it's doing a head and shoulders and it's failing. 
So, you know, this is my whole exact point, guys, that, you know, I made whatever, 50-something bucks on the day. But at this point right now, if I didn't sell when I did, I'd probably be negative or maybe even or up five bucks. So, you know, I'll take the 50, right? <coughs> You're sitting on some bags too. Yeah, five trading days, PDT. Yeah, five trading days. Yep, that's what I meant. PDT, three trades within a five. Yeah, I said calendar day. Five trading days, correct. T-G-O-D-F, let's take a look. Oh, you're scalping that one? Yeesh. God bless you on that one, I don't know. Not my style on that one. <laughs> uh, I don't trade those, T-Q-Q-Q, S-Q-Q. I'm sure, I mean, a lot of people do. I personally don't, but again, I'm not a big, I'm not a huge day trader. I'd ask Sig on if he does. Or Dan. I personally don't. Is there a link to view the penny stock trades? Yeah, so, well, depending what you're looking at. So if you want our watch, so we have our... <clears throat> we have our day trade and our swing trade watch list over here. The day trade one is for our penny stocks. If you're a member, if you log in up here, we post our trade alert setups, which are basically right up over here. Those are all of these that fired off today. We post these the night before for our alert setups right over here under trade alert setups. Now, if you wanna see like live talk uh, more about penny stock, stuff like that, we have our trade rooms up over here and we have a penny stock room in there and Andy's in there usually between 8.30 to 10, 10.30 every morning talking penny stocks. So we have a trial up here under subscribe. You can try us out for 14 days and check out our rooms. So we have a day trade or a penny stocks room. We have a futures room. And we have a regular live trade room as well. Oh, Shaq. Take a look at Shaq. I'm just I'm keeping an eye on Shake Shack. I want to see if there's a kind of a bull flag on this one that forms. Nope. 
Hit resistance. Well, guys, I'm trying to show you guys something more, but I'm not seeing it. I was looking for a possible bull flag on this one that was going to form and see if it could break above these two five minute. Let's see right here. So GWPH should have held off at 96.47. Actually, I'm going to put... Yeah, so GWPH, if it can clear, you got some resistance right around that, that 20 EMA on the daily, right around that 106. Very light on volume, though, right now. You sold at 102. I mean, you can't kick yourself. It's right near resistance. Nice, That's a nice move, you know what I mean? Woulda, coulda, shouldas, right? Hindsight's 20-20. like to see spy do something you guys will see it's just very range bound today look at that mess like to see that thing break out Yes, you did on GWPH. Spy is just so interesting right now. It's got kind of like an inverse head and shoulders. or tri It's got a triple bottom and a triple top. And it's just got to choose a direction. He said, nope, spy going red later into tomorrow. SPXS. Let's take a look.
My mouse is giving me trouble. It's moving too quickly or there's a delay. I don't know what's going on. If it's my connection or I don't know if it's because I'm streaming. There's a delay. But it's not moving. It's moving very erratically for me. The heck? Yeah, I don't know if it's because I'm streaming, if that's why it's uh, taking so long, but that's interesting. I don't know. Spy. Let's take a look at Spy. Might be creeping. Watch and see what this five minute candle does. Still. Cobalt BCM coding invest. What is the uh what is the symbol you're talking about, Eric? watching CCL to see if it's a possible reversal maybe move up towards VWAP Danny's calling me hello Dan I'm streaming Dan yes I'm I'm a social media sensation. Do you want to come watch me? <laughs> but I didn't say I'm a YouTube sensation because I'm not on YouTube right now. I'll have to upload the replay later. I didn't put, in fairness, I didn't put Dan on the spot. Normally I will say Dan, say hello to everybody. I was nice to him and I just, I didn't put him on the spot. Eric, I don't know what you're talking about for DSA Capra. What is that? Is that a company? Is that a stock symbol? I don't know what you're trying to, to say. Do you have a stock symbol? Put Dan on speaker? I would, but... He's not on the phone. It's market as Garbaccio. Uh, hello, Dan. Hiding under our brand account. <laughs> oh, nice job. 13 point scalps. Nice. Needed your sword. Ah, yes. It's time to grab out QE. Oh, spy. Oh, ouch, spy. Whoo. Spy is tanking now. QE sword. It'll go back up. Come on, QE. Ouch. 
Good thing I sold earlier. Look at that, guys, huh? Triple top, failing right back down. Now we got that. 200 SMA in a one minute, 50 and a five, right back down to close. Where is QE when you need it? Come on, QE. Where does that put us? Well, this might be bear flagging on the daily. We'll have to watch and see. Come on, QE. Yeah, I know. There's the direction move, finally. Well, guys, good thing I sold my SPY put credit spread and my GLD put credit spread because I'd probably be down definitely on the day by now. SPXS. Yeah, SPXS has a nice little move up. 10 cent move up. Can someone help two island? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. Can some? What are you trying to learn, Facebook user? You know, I like this sword, but they did make it kind of floppy. It doesn't really stay. It's not solid as I want. Hmm. <laughs> the end giving us a plug bullishbears.com yes if you want help we have lots of courses over there to help you you want to learn to trade yep so click the link right that dan put in there bullishbears.com you'll see right over here we have you can try our courses out right up here. We have, look at all the courses we have. We have about 10 different courses or whatever over in there to really help you. So lots of training material. 80 bucks on SPXS and out made your 200 today. Nice job. Later. All right, I'm gonna put QE down. Hopefully she'll come back later. I could. For those that are bearish, we could go bear mode, and I could put my my bearish hat on. So we could go bear mode if we want. So maybe I'll put on bear, my bear hat, and then maybe the market will turn around and we can go bullish again. <laughs> You learn everything you know from the website, the Facebook group, and the live streams. Love it. We try, guys. We try. So we're getting a bounce right around that 50 SMA in the five minute. How much money do you need to start, what, with us or start trading?
See that? Put my bearish hat on and we get this nice bounce. <laughs> Someone says, zero money needed to start trading. Don't even fund the account. Just paper trade for six months. That's fantastic advice. That's really great advice. Yep. No business trading with real money unless you know how to trade first. And paper trading is a great way to learn. So I'm just kind of doing some of these streams for you guys. But we have live streams, our trade room. There's... You know, lots of people in our trade rooms where you can learn and practice from them, see all different trading styles. And, you know, right now I'm showing you mostly large caps. If you like penny stocks, you can watch Andy in the morning. You like futures, you can watch Rose or Creed or Signet. Uh, Dan teaches all different types of trading styles. We have a regular trade room as well. Tim, options, all that good stuff. So, yeah, we have three trade rooms. Jig Shack's getting a little bounce, potentially. All right, guys, I think I'm going to shut down right now. Lots of Garbaccio now gonna watch the market and see what happens but kind of blah not much going on markets kind of selling off coming back down so you'll see I had two credit spreads earlier a little bit a little bit of profit of the day nothing to write home about huh? is what is what links to Wall Street. <laughs> okay, see you guys. I'm done watching my paint dry at work and have to actually work now, lol. <laughs> if you're wondering if we're linked to Wall Street, no, we are not. Ah, uh, Shake Shack's creeping. Daniel San. Exactly. I love Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is awesome. I finished it last night. Season 2. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but I think they could do several seasons of this. I could not believe the ending. That was fantastic.
Oh boy. Market is tanking now. Hey yo. Might be time to go take a nap. Dang. This might be one of those days to let the bears glow a little bit. Check Facebook. Let me see. I barely go on Facebook. You're a Ma Miyagi Dojo? I'm actually now, uh... I'm now, uh... Oh, nice. Look at Carlos with his updating his picture. <laughs> Carlos has got his tick killer hat on. I love it. Is this Kevin? I'm actually a, a Cobra Kai fan now. I never thought that I'd become a Cobra Kai fan. That show totally warped my childhood brain. It's so like nostalgic to see those two together. And just like, it's just pretty crazy. What did you call? Well, I'm glad I sent my sold my spreads today. <laughs> you were as a you were a Johnny Oh, you were a Johnny A hole as a kid. Glad to be with God and family doing well today. Love it. Love it. I love Johnny in this. I love Johnny and Cobra Kai. I want to see Ali. Yeah, market's dumping. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap it up. But if you're new to following us, um... Check out our website. We have free courses up here. We have three trade rooms up over here. We do our watch list each night here. We do our alert setups here and then real-time options alerts up here. So if you want real-time options alert, come check us out. Uh, basically, you can follow some of those trades and basically pay for your membership for the year with the trades that Tim takes. So. Uh, again, but don't take any trades unless you know how to trade first. That's why you come take our courses and come learn in our trade rooms over here. So you'll see you have a subscribe button. You could try us out for 14 days right up over here. All right, guys, you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all later. Enjoy.